Hi, I'm Matthew Schnoop with the King Ranch. Uh, I'm the Heritage Society biologist for the ranch, and I'm going to talk to you today about quail habitat. Um, quail habitat with the ranch varies uh, depending on the type of management that we do. Here we have used a grubber on uh, this, this pasture, and as you can see with the grubber, we were able to depict what uh, vegetation we wanted to, to grub out and which vegetation we wanted to leave. Our main objective here is, is of course quail habitat and with that we wanted to try to develop a pattern mott system um, which would enable a quail to be able to find cover within 20 yards, 20 to 50 yards, however still provide them with plenty of brooding cover and of course nesting cover. So here you can see that we came in with the grubber we had left larger mots of mesquite, seen here, and um, we left the mixed brush, uh, seen there in the background. With the uh, vegetation that we did grub, we piled the vegetation up, making sure not to, to, uh, to damper it down, so therefore that the, the quail could get under the vegetation, as seen in, in this brush pile here and in the background there. This is about one year post-treatment, and ultimately it cost us right around $110 uh, an acre. However, as you can tell that this area is relatively open to begin with. So we were, we were able to move through the area relatively quickly with a grubber. As you can imagine, a grubber is on track, so you're only able to go forward and backward. So the more time you spend going left and right, the more expensive it gets. So therefore, in areas like this, where it has dense cover, that would increase the value upwards of 150 or even $200. But as you can see, one year post, and again, taking into consideration the great spring rainfall that we've had, you can see that this, this does provide great quail habitat. Not only do we have open uh, habitat that would provide uh, brood cover, but we also have good nesting cover uh, as seen in the bunch grasses. Okay, so as far as scoring this area, uh, do it on a 10 point scale. And uh, for grass, I would give this a, uh, a three, a two and a half, three. Um, for brush, we have, we have a good amount of brush and a good variation of brush. You can see that we have some high growing brush, but yet we still have a good bit of brush that's growing uh, close to the ground. And the interspersion of the brush and the grass and, and the system as a whole, I think I would also give that a, a three, especially in the, in the case of uh, the distance between uh, escape cover and brood cover and nesting cover. Um, would I hunt this area? Uh, yes, I definitely would hunt it. Uh, so I'll give that a one and the reason is is because in addition to the good habitat we were also able to by performing the, the grubbing technique we were able to maintain a level ground as opposed to some of the other techniques that cause divots um, that make it difficult for walking or, or driving. Uh, so ultimately I think I would give this place about a nine and a half to a ten.